KJ, you were more in rhythm tonight. How did it feel in game two? Did you feel a lot more comfortable out there? I did. I felt a, a whole lot uh, better uh, just coming in. I had a great week of practice preparation. So I knew just coming into this, I fell in love with the game plan, and I knew we was going to start off fast and get into a rhythm quick. So uh, just a great game plan by me and the, also the coaching staff as well, just me communicating things that I like, plays that I like. And so we just came out there and just executed. KJ, you seem to kind of take off a little, run a little bit more early on, especially in that first drive. Was that by design, or was that something maybe just kind of happened? The, the defense kind of showed you. It just it just kind of happened. I mean, just the lane open up, rush lane open up. So I just took advantage of it, just knowing that I can create plays with my legs and also keep my eyes downfield. On one of them, I scrambled and hit Randy. So just making sure that I'm and when I do break the pocket, make sure I'm still keeping my eyes down the field because I mean, busted plays, busted coverages can happen. KJ, um, obviously thinking things that can happen, penalties come up, first drive, had mm -hmm. two back-to-back -back there yeah. on the O-line, then you hit that big third and nine. Once that happened, how much was your confidence kind of easy at that point? Uh, my confidence never really left. Um, it was just the main thing was I just had to command the offense and make sure that we get back to playing disciplined football. We had got a little uh, undisciplined there with the penalties and stuff, hurting ourselves. I mean, it wasn't nothing that they was doing. It was just all on us, just hurting ourselves. And, Things like that can't happen. I mean, we got to be able to be the most disciplined football team on the field and the most physical team as well, but uh, not being too careless and costing ourselves. So just making sure that I just made, making sure that I just, you know what I'm saying, make sure that I uh, just had the uh, offense on my back. Would, be, would you say completing third and longs like that is kind of going to be what you're going to be asked to do most, the biggest part of what you contribute? Uh, of course. I mean, we want to stay on the field. So, I mean, that's the main thing. Uh, third third down is big down for us. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on it. Uh, we go, got different uh, scripts throughout practice with third downs and stuff. So, just making sure that we make a big emphasis on it because, I mean, in college football, third down is a big down. What's it like to be a starting quarterback with a running back room like UCF has? Uh, it's a blessing. Like I said, like I always say, take the scripts off me. I can just hand the ball out to those guys and just – and just let those guys do them. Let them just, just showcase their talents. I mean, just having a running back room like those guys, they're all iron sharp and iron. There's no jealousy in that room. They all feed off each other's energy. So it's just iron sharp and iron in that room. What is the difference between the K.J. Jefferson we saw last week versus the K.J. Jefferson we saw out there tonight? Uh, not rushing. I let the game come to me. Uh, so I, I wasn't trying to do too much and trying to make a big play and things of that nature. So I just let the game come to me. And when my opportunity presented itself, I made the most of it. So just let the game come to me and just play within my, my, my range. Uh, Kobe finished with 104 yards. Obviously, he had that big 53-yarder. What's it like to have a security blanket on the outside like him? Uh, it's good. We were just in the locker room just talking about it just then. Uh, I mean, if he don't get the the, pass, the face mask, I mean, it'd probably be more than that. But, I mean, uh, no, nah, I just love Kobe. I mean, just like I said, like I always said when I first got here, we was just two peas in a pod. I mean, just finally getting that connection going and me having that confidence in him, he having that confidence in me, and to actually go out there and execute at a high level like we did tonight and me finding him on different things, getting the ball in his hands as quick as possible. I mean, that's things that's going to help our team grow. Hey, KJ, uh, second game uh, with the new in-helmet communication. Could mm -hmm. you tell any difference between this game and last? Uh, not really. Uh, the main thing is just making sure Coach Malzahn not having it too close to his mouth. He get, <laughs> he get a little too excited on certain plays, and he just get the hollering, and I like, can't hear him. So uh, other than that, though, I mean, it's, it's all good. I, I really enjoy it. I mean, but like I said, just keeping Coach Malzahn, keep, trying to keep him down a little bit. Time for one or two more. KJ, you look very comfortable today. In my bad. I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> you look very comfortable today in the offense. You went for over 200 yards combined, started off the first quarter, uh, I want to say four or four completions. Did you have a purpose today? Like, I'm coming out, I'm setting the tone early, and that's how we're going with the rest of the game? I did. I mean, just from last week, uh, I know I didn't have, I didn't put my best foot forward last week, and uh, my mom has sent me some different little things uh, for motivation purposes. I'm not going to get too far in that, but for motivational purposes. So I came in this week, this, uh, week of practice with a chip on my shoulder. And so this came out uh, tonight and it just made sure that I had that chip on my shoulder and just came with that competitive edge and got back to playing KJ uh, type football. Spoke to you a little bit about it in the preseason. Uh, now that you're a week away, any what are the emotions maybe going head to head with uh, Coach Bryles after working together for three years at Arkansas? Yeah. Uh, that's my guy. I mean, uh, we talked before the season, uh, just just checking in on each other, uh, just the relationship that we have. But I'm looking forward to going and uh, facing him. And uh, I mean, I think it's going to be a great turnout. I think it's going to be a, a good football game. Uh, I think it's going to be a discipline. We got to be the most disciplined and most physical team out there because uh, they have a great uh, group of guys on their side of the ball that play extremely hard, too. So just making sure that we're going out there playing UCL brand football and uh, just handle business. KJ, back here. 
uh, with the conference schedule looming starting next week on the road at TCU. What will it take for the passing game in particular to take that next step and be more explosive than what we've seen in these first two games? Uh, just making sure that we get in uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, Looking at the film, uh, make some adjustments. Uh, that's the main thing in college football, making adjustments. Uh, see different things that we see on the film, different uh, things that we can attack more on in the passing game. And also just make sure that we, um, me and the coaching staff, just uh, putting together a great game plan. Things that I'm comfortable with, things that I, I know that we can uh, succeed in, uh, scratching the ball down the field vertically, uh, down the field. So just making sure that we come in and have a, a, a high game plan and make sure that we get in the rhythm early. KJ, you've, you've been on the road. You've been in road environments before and how tough they are. Do you like playing on the road? What is What are some of the funny things you maybe heard, the things that maybe kind of get you fired up when you're on, in road environments? Uh, I like do like playing on the road uh, just to get a feel for the game and different stadiums and different crowd interaction that they do with their fans and things like that. So I love playing on the road. Uh, the fans are always talking. So, I mean, just uh, another reason just to, you know what I'm saying, hush the crowd. So I love playing on the road. I know it's going to be a great environment, uh, Big 12 opener. So I know it's going to be uh, full of excitement. What's the biggest key that this team is going to need to win on the road, considering the issues they had with it last year? Uh, being the most disciplined football team, like I say, like it just comes down to being disciplined and uh, just make sure that we have confidence. And uh, the main thing is make sure that we believe first. I mean, it starts with belief. I mean, you don't want 60% of the team believing and 40 is not believing. So we want to have that whole 100% believing that we can go out there and get the job done.